Hi everyone, this is Saravanan Sastravel from Trichy. I hope everyone is watching my YouTube channel. In case if you are watching my video first time, please do watch my previous videos too, so that you can understand this channel better. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon notification, so that in near future, if I am uploading any new videos, you will get a notification. Okay. Without any further delay, we will move on today's topic. Leisure basic training. I could understand your inner mind that what this training about. What is leisure basic? For whom this training? What are the uses of the training session? I will explain you step by step so that you can understand the answers for the above questions. Please do watch the video fully without skipping so that you can understand the leisure basics. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, what we are going to cover on the leisure basic topics, I will just explain you. And then, <clears throat> we are going to cover the room type, room category, room view, meal plan, check-in, check-out special notes, special request. Okay. Now you will have a question for whom this training, this leisure basic training, especially for tourism students, in case if they are have planning to specify in leisure holidays. Secondly, the air ticketing staff. Due to COVID, everyone has to do multitasking to exit their position. There are A's in ticketing, whether Whereas when it comes to the sales holiday packages or hotel booking, they felt uncomfortable. If they have a trained with the leisure basic, the terms and conditions, terminologies, they will have a confident enough to sell the holiday package too. People who are planning to shift the vertical to leisure background, they can for them this video is too. The people who are planning to start a new travel agent and then Corporate travel coordinator. They can understand and check the check in, check out timing, special requests for their executive who are traveling in near future. Okay. Now we are moving to the room types. The different types of rooms in the hotels will be explained. The rooms category, rooms are categorized and priced according to the type of bed number of occupant, number of bed, decoration, specific furniture, or futures and special event, the, spe the special theme available in the rooms. The hotel front office assistant should be aware of the property room type categories. Before he <clears throat> uh, allocate the rooms to the guest, he has to make sure the rooms are ready as per the guest specifications request. Example, the guest may ask uh, twin bedroom or twin bed uh, non-smoking rooms, etc., etc. And then he has to allot the room accordingly as per the client's wish. So, in this type room types, we have four room types out there. One is single room, and then double room or twin bedded room, triple room category, and quad room. Now we will move on to what is single room category? Single type of room category is single room is called single occupancy room. This room is for only one person equipped with one single bed. Approximately the room size will be 37 meters square to 45 meters square. And now we move on to the next room type. It's twin bedded room. The twin room with twin bedded may be occupied by one or more per persons in a room. This is exclusively for if it, any two friends are traveling, so they can book the room as a twin room bed. <clears throat> it can accommodate two adults and one children under the age of 12 years, and they can share with the existing bed. 
and you can see this room type will be like two separated beds so that most of the executives who are traveling for their business purpose the corporate travel used to give this twin room categories often and then next we will move on to the next category it's for double room category this double room category can accommodate two adults and one child approximately if it is a two child we have to see the ages of the children suppose if the, the first child is uh, seven years and second child is five years then it can be easily accommodate all four together in a room and then why people are just uh, asking for double room category if they how we have to see whether the room category can accommodate four persons then we have to see the spaces also sometimes you have that uh, extra mattress can be put in the same room type some hotels will have uh, very uh, less spaces so it's not possible especially in hong kong we can we cannot put any extra bed the rooms will be a little bit slow or like a, a very small in size next type room type will be the triple room category the triple room category it can accommodate three adults and one child maximum the triple category will be either this form of one twin bed and one single bed cot also sometimes it will be three separated bed and sometimes it will comes under like one double bed and one sofa come bed you can see in the third photo you can see there is a sofa come bed if you just remove this desk and then you can just put this two trolley and then you can just make it as a triple room like child bed will be there sofa come bed okay next one we will go and see room category quad room category the quad room it can accommodate four adults and one child in a room basically this is a bunker bed they will call us a bunker bed so it is for the group movement people who are traveling students who are traveling they used to take this type of homes or if any big family like more than four to five people they used to take this type of room type it's called quad room category and then next we will see the room categories room categories will be classified into standard room classic room deluxe room club or executive level business travelers used to take this type of rooms and then duplex room and then studio room and suite room and suite room will be categorized as junior suite royal suite and executive suites so we will just cover this topic one by one standard or classic room this is the basic category of the room type in every hotel the standard rooms will be furnished with table shelf and all those thing and normally people will have a doubt what is the standard room and deluxe room uh, difference between the standard room and deluxe room will be the latest renovated is called a deluxe room or the higher category room when you build a, a construct a hotel they normally used to build uh, three to four uh, floors out of that first floor will be like single room uh, standard or classic rooms second category will be deluxe the room construction the room size and then the amenities everything will be the same however the inner decor and all those things will be latest renovated that's why it will be a little bit higher cost most of the time the standard room and the deluxe room this is the difference so in the standard room <clears throat> you can see it can accommodate two people sorry one second uh, next one will be a deluxe category room this deluxe category room size 
<clears throat> it will be uh, very spacious in case if any two children are there so we can have this extra mattresses in this room so normally people if you ask for any hotel in uh, hong kong and all they will just ask you to stay they will count the head normally in europe also they will count the head uh, if it is any children also they will ask you to take a new room or they will ask you to go for an higher category room like deluxe category room now you will have a question why this room types are not allowing for uh, four children or two children in a room it is because of the safety reasons number one if it is any fire uh, unfortunately if it is any fire then we have to go for an evacuation so it is not easy to evacuate all together in single time that is the reason mostly they will allow second one is the hotels are uh, ancient hotels will be like especially in europe they were uh, converted hotels will be like uh, earlier it was an a museum earlier it was a uh, small uh, uh, what we can say government uh, uh, we can say that government buildings will be converted as a heritage hotel so they will have the rooms will be very small in size so that is the reason they are not allowing uh, kids in same room so they will ask you to go for a higher category like deluxe room category so deluxe category is nothing but latest renovated number one secondly this will be like more spacious than the standard room category next we will move on to the club or executive room category this club room executive category is uh, normally located in the higher floor these type of rooms will be have they have a separate check in and check out check out counter this rooms especially for the business travelers or the executives who travel for business purposes and these room types will have uh, access of executive lounge on this lounge they will have the free like free food beverages and then uh, tea coffee will be served all the time so if any guest want to uh, meet over there they will conduct a small meetings over there in that executive room category in the lounge so they will have in uh, free flow of uh, tea coffee and all those things and one more thing the executive lounge access they have a special ca categorized like uh, executive secretary in case if any any contract ever been signed you need to fax they have assist uh they they will be assisting to send the facts and all those things also in case if you want to type any contract or something like that there are some people will be there to helping out you there this is the most important thing for this executive type of rooms and then we will move on to next category duplex room duplex room it is a two level of room it consists of uh, one bedroom on the floor and uh, living room on sorry living room on the floor and bedrooms will be on a uh, second floor so that uh, if uh, these type of rooms will be uh, taken by celebrities and then uh, uh, sports personalities so if they have want to contact any uh, uh, like a meeting or something like that they will just uh, do in that uh, couch itself uh, they 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 don't want to show that they where they are staying and all those things so that will be uh, second floor and mostly the cruises will have this type of rooms the cruise uh, if any uh, people who are planning to go for a cruise they normally used to take this type of duplex rooms and then next category studio room uh the studio room is a uh, bed with a couch which can be converted into a bed this may have, this may have also an additional bed too uh, normally the studio room will be uh, like for two people who can accommodate and some of the studio rooms have this kitchenette facilities too so that you can just have um, if you want to uh, uh, prepare your breakfast by yourself you can just do that and mostly that rooms will be an l shaped 
and uh, easily it can accommodate two people and next we will go to suit rooms A suit room in the hotel or a public accommodation, such as the cruise ships, denotes, according to the most of the dictionary definitions, it's a connecting room. And under one number of rooms, that means the suite room is basically two to three rooms will be interconnected, and uh, mostly it will be like uh, difference between the suite room and the studio room will be. There is no partition in the studio room, and suit room will be have partitions like two, three. If it is like two families together, they want to uh, stay together, they will have a suit room. Then it will be easily they can accommodate more than three to four people. Mostly people from royal families they used to take a suit rooms so that one room they will accommodate and another room will be their bodyguards will be there, their security, their uh, secretaries will be staying in the next room. So that if they want, they contact any meeting or something like that. They just have it, these type of rooms. And then the suite room can be classified into two, three types, like royal suite, one bedroom suite, two bedroom suite, and sometimes it's uh, like similar to the apartments also. The suite rooms normally will be uh, seventy meters square to hundred meters square. Next, we will move on to the room views. The room view categories will be like city view room, garden or terrace view room, harbor view, fountain view, mountain view, pool view, and then sea view rooms, sea facing room, sea side rooms, panoramic view. Now we will just have a look. Uh, the first option will be the city city view room. Okay. You can see over here the city. <clears throat> Mostly the city view rooms will be in the top floor only. So you can see that city view room. This is the type of city view rooms. Next only garden or terrace view room. You can see the garden room over here. You can see the garden and terrace room. You can see the Paris Eiffel Tower. Next one will be the harbor view. In uh, Hong Kong, we'll have that harbor view, and in Cochin also we have that. Some of the hotel will have that harbor view, and next one will be a fountain view. Uh, in Dubai, you can see that uh, you have that fountain view will be there, and then mountain view in Swiss Alps, you can see that mountain views. Pool view room, mostly especially like uh, in Greece, we have this room type. Swimming pool room. Mostly, all the hotels will have that swimming pool room. Next, we will just move to sea view room. A sea view is also called ocean view room. It is one where you will have a view of the ocean from the your room. In this room category, uh, it will be very visible from your room, but it may be necessary to the first thing you should wear, uh, see when you look outside. And next, you will just move on to sea facing room. Sea facing is nothing but you have the uh, you have the uh, you can just see the sea, but not uh, like full fledged. You will have that uh, garden will be like trees will be hiding and all those things. You won't have that. Full view of the view. It will see facing is like its uh, room will be located 
facing the sea. Uh, simply, we can say that uh, <clears throat> ocean facing will be the room. Uh, for example, in Pondicherry, we have Lee Pramodan Hotel. You can see that there will be a roadside. And then after that, you can see that C, C will be there. Next one, C side room. It means your room is on the side of the hotel. And if you stand on the balcony, you can see only the side view of the sea. Not uh, like panoramic or something like that. Next one will be panoramic view of the room. This is 360 degree. You can see the room type from your uh, from your room. You can see that all the views. It will be like uh, there is no hiding or something like that. You can see the room. Uh, you can see the view, all the view very fully. It's called panoramic view. Next one will be uh, the meal plan. The meal plan, according to the meal plan, they have that uh, four to five type of meal plan. One is like European meal plan. This is only a room only basis. There is no lunch and dinner will be uh, added. Uh, normally people used to go for uh, sightseeing and all those, you, those people used to take this European plan. So that in the afternoon lunch, they can be taken the food uh, whenever they go outside. They will have that lunch on uh, sightseeing. And secondly, continental plan. This will be with the uh, breakfast basis. They will take a breakfast. Uh, they will take a breakfast on the hotel and uh, lunch and dinner will be in the outside of the hotel. Um, this is also the people who uh, used to go for outing, for sightseeing and all, they, those, those people used to take this type of CP plan. And American plan will be mostly resorts, especially in Maldives, they used to take American plan, like breakfast, lunch and dinner. Because you cannot uh, travel for uh, travel to other places because there is no sightseeing and all in Maldives. So they used to spend their time with their uh, either in the resort itself. And uh, <clears throat> most probably they will have that activities like water based sports activities. So people normally used to take the breakfast, lunch and dinner all together in, uh, in the resort itself. Moreover, if you want to go to another resort, you need a boat or you need a um, um, flight. So that's the reason they, they normally used to take American plan over there in Maldives. And then modified American plan is like, sometimes they do, people who don't want to take a, a lunch, they want to skip the lunch and they will take only the dinner, then it will be like modify American plan will be better for option for them. It is like modify American plan is simple that they will take breakfast, either lunch or dinner. It is according to their choice. And mostly they will, people used to take um, this type of uh, plan will be frequent travel they used to take with um, um, modified American plans only. And next one is all inclusive plan. All inclusive plan in the sense uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner will be served, provided. And then you have that uh, the beverages and uh, alcohol, non-alcohol will be provided in this type of all-inclusive and most people like um, staying in a resort types of Maldives, Mauritius, all the island hotels, they have these facilities. Okay. I hope uh, everything is clear now. In case if you have any doubt, please do uh, comment on this comment box so that I can just revert back to you. And next we will move on to Check-in, check-out. Uh, the universal time for check-in and check-out will be 1400 hours for check-in and check-out will be 1200 hours. Normally people used to come for early morning flight if they are away, arriving, they have to mention the timing that they are coming earlier. So normally they will have that room available uh, only at 2 p.m. In case if they are coming earlier, they have only two choices. One is they have to wait 
in the launch or they can just put the luggages in the launch and then they can go for sightseeing or go for a, a restaurant and then spend the time in case if they don't want to spend their time in along this one they whenever they want to uh, come and they have to check in then they have to take a second option will be they have to pre book their hotel accommodation one day earlier on that case when they have uh, pre book one day earlier they will have rooms ready whenever they come in and most probably when why this timing they are giving 1200 hours and 1400 hours means you suppose a client is check out at 12 hours and immediately the housekeeping department coordinate to clean the room and make sure that all the amenities were in place that's why it will take a minimum of 2 to 3 hours so that's why it, they have that check in and check out timing will be different of course some of the hotel will have the 1200 hours check, check in check out timing but they will just make sure that the rooms will be ready before they give hand over to the client and next we will move on to special notes the special notes are like <clears throat> just to inform the hotel to make sure that uh, these people uh, have the special notes sometimes it will be like honeymooners why we are just mentioning the honeymooners they will have the honeymoon amenities like uh, cake and then the flower decorations will be sometimes they will give a free of cost sometimes it will be a chargeable and secondly it will be check in and check out time we have to mention the check in and check out time to the hotel properly so that the front office executive will understand uh this room is booked and blocked by someone so the, he won't uh, allocate the room to any other people and he will wait until the guest has been ca- arriving and in case if it is any delay or something like that the um, front office assistant will just call back that client and make sure that they are on the way or if there is any uh, problem or something like that uh, in finding their address location etc it always is useful So to the front office and um, mostly we have to mention the timing of what exact that uh, expected time to be arrived so that it will, it will be very easy to check in and check out and next one is client arriving after 7 pm this is most important thing most of the hotels will be like uh, they have a last room allocation it's called uh, LRA they used to wait for the guest because the check in time is 2 pm and then check out time is 12 uh, afternoon so they will wait for the uh, people who from 4 pm and then if it is any delay or something like that they will just make sure that uh, the flight is arriving uh, late night or something like that they will call the client and check whether they are coming or not in case if they are not coming uh, 100% then they will have if they have any demand in the room so they will give the hotel room to the other person who really need this rooms and next will be disabled room or physically challenged and pet friendly hotel okay we'll just go one by one this is the animonos and disabled room you can see that disabled rooms normally the rooms will be have easy access <clears throat> this type of room mainly designed for that uh, disabled guest and it requires uh, the hotel must be provide um, all the accessories would be like uh, easy like the switchboard will be very easy uh, they can uh, it will be uh, down not in the two height or something like that and he, uh, the client can easily their uh, wheelchair can be accessed everywhere and then the washroom will be have that side bars and all those things and especially these type of room we should make sure that they are not uh, accommodating any kids because uh, since that switchboard and all those things are uh, lower they have chances to people the kids may have uh, go and just keep their hands over there in electric and get shocked Okay. So 
the next type of room will be pet friendly hotel mostly people used to look in us they used to look for pet friendly hotels uh, just to accommodate their pets pet friendly hotels are which offer a range of amenities designed accommodated for pet owners in this hotel the pet owners are get uh, gourmet and service menus for the pets also and uh, even in uh, kodaikanal also we have some of the hotels have this facility pet friendly hotels are there next next will be like special request special request or we can request however it is subject to availability uh, we can see that special request like non smoking room smoking room early check in late check out client arrival without voucher high floor low floor interconnecting room adjoining room adjacent room calm or quiet room etc so first one will be a uh, smoking and non smoking room Okay. Many hotels will provide both a smoking and a non-smoking room for the guest, in order to minimize the effect of the second-hand smoke exposure on non-smoking guest. Second one will be a early check-in and late check-out. As we discussed earlier, that early check-in will be subject to availability because if the clients are still staying in the same room. and it was allocated to us it will take minimum 1400 hours to check in that is our normal check in time so if the guest is already there and they have to make sure that the guest is check out out 12 and noon and then the rooms will be ready early check in and check out is subject to availability since i told you that uh, there is a two option in case if you want to early check in you have to pre book number 1 and uh, for late check out also the same in case if your flight is like uh, 9 pm late night and what you can just do either you can check out at 12 noon and you can go for a sightseeing out and you can keep the luggage in concierge so that they'll make sure that your luggage also safe and then while like 6 o'clock you can just come back and get your luggage and you can just directly go to your airport this is an option other option is like in case if you lay, need a late check out they will charge 50 percentage of the room rent so early check in and late check on check out is depends upon the occupancy of the room next one client arriving without voucher this will be in uh, suppose if the clients are uh, booking a hotel in last minute they are going uh, without any vouchers like uh, the corporate people used to travel like this and then the corporate travel coordinator can do one thing we can just send a fax or email to the hotel directly and uh, you can just give a call to the front office or reception to make sure that the client is arriving without voucher and you can just send a copy to them so that if the client arriving without voucher they can just have a name and the number if any reference number booking reference number you can just provide that one or you can just give his passport number as per this uh, booking name so that they can check in smoothly next one will be high floor and low floor uh sometimes people will look for high floor just to avoid that families and the kids uh, um like screaming and all those things they used to prefer high floor some people will look for low floor the low floor people who are looking they have some phobia like fear, fear of heights they used to have low floor and people who are uh, aged uh, senior citizens they used to look for low floor because they don't want to go up and down the elevator and all those things and they can easily move their luggage to the low floor and they can move around easily once can i'll just show you the photos of this lower floor high floor and all those things on the second so this is the high floor you can see the panoramic view of that city 
this air floor normally used for the people who go for business travel they used to have prefer the higher floor because they don't want to uh disturb they will have that rooms will be uh, without any noises or something like that <clears throat> mm. typically we can say that high flow means less surrounding traffic of people and we will get the panoramic view area also and if the lift uh, hotel has a lift uh, referring to the city hotel and uh, times of the elevator traffic could be a little annoying that's the reason they used to take the higher floor rooms and secondly lower floor room as i told you that these type of uh, floor rooms are requested by uh, senior citizens lower floor in a hotel is the first floor of the level uh, it is a short distance from the first floor some elderly guest don't like climbing stairs so that they given the low floor and next one we will move to adjoining rooms adjoining rooms is like uh, if we have a group of people uh like uh two three families together they request for the room on same floor like uh, rooms by just nearby so that they will have a <clears throat> uh like a adjoining rooms is nothing but a, they have a common wall but no interconnection that is a typical name adjoining rooms next is adjacent room adjacent room is like rooms close to each other that is in the same floor and uh, so that people can just um <clears throat> move to each and every uh, all the rooms the room will be close to each other perhaps across the wall this is a typical uh, meaning for adjacent room and next one will be connecting room the connecting room will be uh, with individual entrance door from outside and connecting doors in between this type of rooms is like called as suite rooms or these facilities connecting rooms just can move between rooms and without going through the hallway that is the main purpose and next one thank you i hope the above information presentation is clear to you now you can understand the leisure basics and air ticket agents can sell the holiday packages with confidence and if you have any questions please please feel free to contact me so that i will revert back asap i have mentioned my contact detail on the description for your reference and in case if you have any doubts or clarification you can just uh, put it in the notification comment box also so that i can just revert back as well as possible thank you Have a nice day. Hello, Ji.